The Center for Regenerative Medicine Cellular Therapy Lab is located on the campus of Case Western Reserve University and University Hospital's Cleveland Medical Center. This controlled access facility processes human cell and tissue products under the auspices of the FDA and the cell therapy accrediting body known as FACT. The secure laboratory encompasses 3,000 square feet with approximately half of the space as unclassified air quality space and the remaining half as an ISO 7 clean room facility. Components include a quarantine room to house reagents and supplies until approved for release, an office where batch records are stored securely, 24-7 monitored vapor phase liquid nitrogen freezers for product storage, and an area for product development. Manufacturing can occur in the non-clean room unclassified space if a closed system automated instrument is used and is allowed by the FDA. One example of an automated instrument used for cell manufacturing is the Clinimax Prodigy. This is a fully automated closed system where hematopoietic cells are sorted, transduced, cultured, and harvested all on one machine. Another closed system instrument is the quantum bioreactor that we use to culture, expand, and harvest fibroblast cells. Both of these systems facilitate GMP compliance by reducing human access events. Because of the automated process, they also reduce likelihood of human error and reduce labor cost. While these instruments have advantages, not all manufacturing protocols can be adapted to this platform. Most of our manufacturing procedures are performed in ISO 7 clean room suites using traditional cell culture materials and methods. When cell product starting material is received in the lab, it is accessioned and in most cases immediately delegated to the cell processing technologist to begin manufacture per detailed SOPs. In order to process cells in the clean room, each technologist must follow standard operating procedures for donning personal protective equipment and for eliminating introduction of microorganisms and other non-viable particles. To enter the clean room, the technologist must log in and wash her hands prior to entering the card key access gowning room. Here, bouffant cap, mask, coveralls, shoe covers, and gloves are donned. Supplies brought into the clean room are decontaminated and transferred to the clean room via a pass-through. There are numerous other policies and procedures that dictate workflow, process control, and other quality measures designed to maintain sterility and integrity of the cell product. Our clean room facility has a positive pressure differential to the surrounding space. There are six suites dedicated to a specific clinical trial and or cell type, each under positive pressure relative to the anteroom. The facility is unidirectional flow and uses interlocking doors to maintain proper pressure differential and workflow. Cell manufacturing in this space primarily uses open systems such as flasks, cell factories, or gas permeable bags. In order to work in this environment, staff undergo a lengthy training period to ensure competency in aseptic technique, quality compliance, and protocol-specific procedures. Real-time documentation of each critical process step is a necessity. Environmental monitoring is an integral part of cell manufacturing in cleanroom operation. To ensure HEPA filter integrity and a sterile environment, air and surface sampling for both viable and non-viable particles is done routinely. Additionally, the facility is subject to a cleaning regimen that includes equipment, floors, walls, and ceilings. There is a changeover cleaning procedure which takes place between patients to prevent cross-contamination. Once work is completed, the technologist exits the clean room through the degowning and decontamination room. Each technologist removes the PPE and places it in the biohazard trash, which is autoclaved before removal from the facility. After formulation, but before distribution, the cellular product undergoes quality control testing that includes characterization of the product and safety testing. Testing for bacteria and fungus, rapid endotoxin testing, mycoplasma testing by quantitative PCR, and cell characterization by flow cytometry are performed on all products as dictated by the FDA. Genetically modified products undergo additional safety testing and characterization. Once the product has met release specifications, it is labeled according to international cell product labeling standards. For distribution, products are placed in a transport container validated to maintain the appropriate temperature, logged out, and transported or shipped to the clinical site for delivery to the patient. Temperature of the product is tracked for the duration of transport. 
A product certificate of analysis and other required paperwork is included with the product. This academic GMP compliant cell manufacturing facility plays an important role in facilitating investigational studies. For more information on clinical trials supported by this facility, please access our website. We look forward to you visiting our facility.